National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch number 251, effective until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. This watch includes the following counties in North Dakota, Billings, Dunn, Golden Valley, and Stark. Remember, a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including tornadoes, large hail and damaging winds, in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or internet sources for the latest severe weather information.
A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for northeastern Montana. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into the basement or small central room in a sturdy structure. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Glasgow has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Roosevelt County in northeastern Montana, southeastern Sheridan County in northeastern Montana, east central Dawson County in northeastern Montana, eastern Richland County in northeastern Montana, until 4.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 3.14 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 6 miles southeast of Freud to 8 miles northwest of Fairview to 9 miles northeast of Savage, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Sydney, Culbertson, Fairview, Mainville, Freud, Snowden, Fort Kip, Homestead, Newley, Woolley, Crane, McCabe, and Midway. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for northeastern Montana. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into the basement or small central room in a sturdy structure. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Glasgow has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Daniels County in northeastern Montana, north central Roosevelt County in northeastern Montana, Sheridan County in northeastern Montana, until 4.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 3.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 8 miles northeast of Port of Whitetail to near Archer to near Medicine Lake, moving north at 35 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Plentywood, Madison Lake, Archer, Port of Whitetail, Port of Raymond, Redstone, Whitetail, Outlook, Reserve, Raymond, Homestead, Dooley, Daleview, Navajo, and Antelope. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for northeastern Montana. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into the basement or small central room in a sturdy structure. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Glasgow has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Richland County in northeastern Montana until 4.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 3.40 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 7 miles southwest of Sydney, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and ping-pong ball size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. 
impact. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Sydney around 3.55 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Woolley, Crane and Midway. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Service in Glasgow has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Richland County in northeastern Montana until 4.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 3.40 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located seven miles southwest of Sydney, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and ping-pong ball-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Sydney around 3.55 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Woolley, Crane, and Midway. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Service in Glasgow has issued a tornado warning for southeastern Roosevelt County in northeastern Montana, eastern Richland County in northeastern Montana, until 4.45 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 4.11 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Sydney, moving north at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, tornado and ping-pong ball size hail. Source, radar indicated rotation. Impact, flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Fairview around 4.40 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Noli, Snowden, Woolley, Fort Union and Crane. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Shelter. 
Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near Fairview around 4.40 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by this tornadic thunderstorm include Noli, Snowden, Woolley, Fort Union, and Crane. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Service in Glasgow has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for North Central Rebo County in northeastern Montana, southeastern Roosevelt County in northeastern Montana, southeastern Richland County in northeastern Montana, until 5.45 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 4.37 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Sydney, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Hazard ping pong ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Source, public. Impact, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Sydney, Fairview, Newley, Snowden and Woolley. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for northeastern Montana. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Western Mackenzie County in northwestern North Dakota, southwestern Williams County in northwestern North Dakota, until 6.45 p.m. Central Daylight Time, or 5.45 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 5.43 p.m. Central Daylight Time, or 4.43 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a line of severe thunderstorms were located around Sydney, moving east-northeast at 15 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expects considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of western Mackenzie and southwestern Williams counties, including the following locations, Sather Dam, Cartwright, Fort Buford State Historical Site, Trenton, Fort Union and Charbonneau. The tornado watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, or 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for southwestern and northwestern North Dakota. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm, and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Rebo County in northeastern Montana, east central Dawson County in northeastern Montana, southeastern Richland County in northeastern Montana, until 6.45 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 5.44 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles north of Scar, or 15 miles south of Sydney, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. People and animals outdoors will be injured. 
Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Scar. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for northeastern Montana. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into the basement or small central room in a sturdy structure. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building.
Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of southwestern Burke, northeastern Williams, and southeastern Divide counties, including the following locations, Hamlet and McGregor. A tornado watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time for northwestern North Dakota. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Oh, you're done. The National Weather Service in Glasgow has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Daniels County in northeastern Montana, northwestern Roosevelt County in northeastern Montana, northeastern Valley County in northeastern Montana until 8.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 7.22 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 9 miles north of Richland to 6 miles south of Peerless to 7 miles northwest of Old Point, moving northeast at 65 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping-pong ball-size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Scoby, Richland, Bridette, Port of Scoby, Luster, Maddock, Peerless, Four Buttes, West Fork, Bold, Plantana, and Larsland. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for northeastern Montana. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into the basement or small central room in a sturdy structure. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Central Daylight Time, or 
7.45 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles southwest of Williston, moving north at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include ping pong ball size hail and 60 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected, people and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include, Williston. A tornado watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. Central Daylight Time, or 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for northwestern North Dakota. A tornado watch remains in effect for the warned area. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. Although a tornado is not immediately likely, if one is spotted, act quickly and move to a place of safety inside a sturdy structure such as a basement or small interior room. This thunderstorm is capable of producing all types of severe weather including extremely large hail, destructive straight line winds and tornadoes. Move quickly to a safe shelter such as an interior room, a bathroom, closet or basement. and a John Deere Uber. The National Weather Service in Glasgow has issued a tornado warning for South Central Daniels County in northeastern Montana, northwestern Roosevelt County in northeastern Montana, East Central Valley County in northeastern Montana, until 8.45 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 7.52 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located near Luster, or 19 miles northwest of Old Point, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This tornadic thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of South Central Daniels, Northwestern Roosevelt, and East Central Valley counties, including the following locations, Volt. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Service in Glasgow has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Daniels County in northeastern Montana, northwestern Roosevelt County in northeastern Montana, northeastern Valley County in northeastern Montana, northwestern Sheridan County in northeastern Montana, until 9.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 8.08 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles east of Luster, or 20 miles north of Oak Point, moving north at 60 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include, Scobie, Richland, Port of Whitetail, Luster, Maddock, Port of Scobie, Fraser, Whitetail, Peerless, Oswego, Four Buttes, West Fork, Bold, Lantana and Larslin. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for northeastern Montana. Remain alert for a possible tornado. Tornadoes can develop quickly from severe thunderstorms. If you spot a tornado, go at once into the basement or small central room in a sturdy structure. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways.
Weather Service in Glasgow has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern McCohen County in northeastern Montana, northern Dawson County in northeastern Montana, central Richland County in northeastern Montana, until 9.30 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 8.22 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near Circle to near Lindsay, moving northeast at 50 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tennis ball-size hail and 70 miles per hour wind gusts. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Sydney, Circle, Ritchie, Lambert, Bloomfield, Savage, Lindsay, Enid, Midway, and Crane. A tornado watch remains in effect until 9 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time for northeastern Montana. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building.
service in Bismarck has issued a tornado warning for South Central Williams County in northwestern North Dakota until 10.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time. At 9.48 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm capable of producing a tornado was located 8 miles south of Williston, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include tornado and baseball-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be damaged or destroyed. Damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles will occur. Tree damage is likely. This dangerous storm will be near the far east side of Williston around 10.05 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations in the path of this tornadic thunderstorm include Epping. Take cover now. Move to a basement or an interior room on the lowest floor of a sturdy building. Avoid windows. If you are outdoors, in a mobile home, or in a vehicle, move to the closest substantial shelter and protect yourself from flying debris. Consider 
mobile tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Sydney, Fairview, Maidenville, Snowden, Newley, Woolley, and Fort Union. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northwestern Mackenzie County in northwestern North Dakota, southwestern Williams County in northwestern North Dakota, until 11.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 10.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 10.22 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 9.22 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Fort Union Trading Post or 20 miles north of Sydney, moving northeast at 35 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 miles per hour wind gusts and ping pong ball size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. People and animals outdoors will be injured. Expect hail damage to roofs, siding, windows, and vehicles. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Williston. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Bismarck has issued a flash flood warning for northwestern Mackenzie County in northwestern North Dakota, central Williams County in northwestern North Dakota, until 2.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time or 1.30 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 10.28 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 9.28 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, Doppler radar indicated that very heavy rainfall that occurred across the area this evening is producing flash flooding. The public has reported flash flooding in the city of Williston. Additional storms moving through Williams and McKenzie counties may produce additional rainfall of 1 to 2 inches, leading to additional flash flooding. Expected hazards include flash flooding caused by thunderstorms. Source, radar. The following impacts are expected, flash flooding of small creeks and streams, urban areas, highways, streets and underpasses as well as other poor drainage and low-lying areas. Some locations that will experience flash flooding include Williston, Ray, Alexander, Wildrose, Epping, Alamo, East Fairview, Trenton, Wheelock, Hamlet, Springbrook, Charbonneau, Cartwright, Sather Dam, Corinth, and McGregor. Turn around, don't drown when encountering flooded roads. Most of flood deaths occur in vehicles. Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for northeastern Golden Valley County in southwestern North Dakota, Billings County in southwestern North Dakota, western Mackenzie County in northwestern North Dakota, south central Williams County in northwestern North Dakota, until 11.15 p.m. Central Daylight Time or 10.15 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 10.34 p.m. Central Daylight Time, or 9.34 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 8 miles east of East Fairview to 14 miles northeast of Trotters to 9 miles northwest of Medora, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expects considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Watford City, Alexander, Arnagard, South Fairfield, Theodore Roosevelt National Park North Unit, Grassy Butte, Fairfield, 
the dam, Charbonneau and Rawson. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northwestern Warden County in North Central North Dakota, Renville County in North Central North Dakota, East Central Burke County in Northwestern North Dakota, until midnight Central Daylight Time. At 10.56 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Kenmer, or 13 miles southeast of Bowbells, moving northeast at 25 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Green and Mohall. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Southern Golden Valley County in southwestern North Dakota, southwestern Billings County in southwestern North Dakota, Slope County in southwestern North Dakota, until 11 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 10.01 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 6 miles northeast of Monmouth, or 20 miles east of Baker, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of southern Golden Valley, southwestern Billings and Slope counties, including the following locations, Pretty Group and Preview Crossing. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. The National Weather Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Burke County in northwestern North Dakota, northeastern Williams County in northwestern North Dakota, northwestern Montreal County in northwestern North Dakota, southeastern Divide County in northwestern North Dakota, until 12.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 11.29 p.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 8 miles north of Battleview, or 25 miles west of Bogels, moving northeast at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 miles per hour wind gusts and half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. This severe thunderstorm will be near, lignite around midnight central daylight time. Portal and Flaxton around 12.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by the severe thunderstorm include Amlet, Larson, McGregor, Cato, Northgate and White Earth. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Burke County in northwestern North Dakota, northeastern Mackenzie County in northwestern North Dakota, eastern Williams County in northwestern North Dakota, Montreal County in northwestern North Dakota, eastern Divide County in northwestern North Dakota, until 12.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 11.44 p.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 9 miles north of Crosby to 15 miles south of Tioga to 10 miles west of Mandaree, moving east at 40 miles per hour. These are very dangerous storms. 
Expected hazards include 80 miles per hour wind gusts and ping pong ball size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged. Expect considerable damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles. Extensive tree damage and power outages are likely. Severe thunderstorms will be near. Mandaree around 12 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Ross around 12.10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Stanley around 12.20 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Van Hook Park around 12.25 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Palermo around 12.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by these severe thunderstorms include Hamlet, White Earth, Lewis and Clark State Park, White Earth Bay Recreation Area, Pouch Point Recreation Area, Larson, Ambrose, Charleston, Whitetail Bay Recreation Area and Keene. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. This is an extremely dangerous situation. These storms are producing widespread wind damage. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. National Weather Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Dunn County in southwestern North Dakota, Hedinger County in southwestern North Dakota, northwestern Morton County in south-central North Dakota, eastern Stark County in southwestern North Dakota, southwestern Mercer County in south-central North Dakota, northwestern Grant County in south-central North Dakota, until 12.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time or 11.45 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 11.50 p.m. Central Daylight Time, or 10.50 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles north of Mott, moving northeast at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Glen Ullen and Hebron. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Large hail and damaging winds and continuous cloud to ground lightning is occurring with this storm. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Torrential rainfall is occurring with this storm and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. Text. The National Weather Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Western Sioux County in South Central North Dakota. Central Morton County in South Central North Dakota, Grant County in South Central North Dakota, until 1.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time, or 12.15 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 12.21 a.m. Central Daylight Time, or 11.21 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 6 miles south of Glen Ellen to Carson to Keldern, moving east at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 miles per hour wind gusts and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Severe thunderstorms will be near Carson around 11.25 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Other locations in the path of these severe thunderstorms include Flasher, Almont, and New Salem. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Large hail and damaging winds and continuous cloud-to-ground lightning is occurring with these storms. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Torrential rainfall is occurring with these storms and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways.
The National Weather Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Ward County in North Central North Dakota, Western Bottineau County in North Central North Dakota, Renville County in North Central North Dakota, McLean County in South Central North Dakota, Burke County in Northwestern North Dakota, Northeastern Mackenzie County in Northwestern North Dakota, Northeastern Williams County in Northwestern North Dakota, Montreal County in Northwestern North Dakota, until 1.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 12.29 a.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 16 miles west of Sherwood to 11 miles north of Mackenzie Bay Recreation Area, moving east at 50 miles per hour. These are very dangerous storms. Expected hazards include 80 miles per hour wind gusts and ping pong ball size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Flying debris will be dangerous to those caught without shelter. Mobile homes will be heavily damaged. Expect considerable damage to roofs, windows, and vehicles. Extensive tree damage and power outages are likely. Severe thunderstorms will be near Sherwood around 12.50 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Rosalind around 1 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Ryder and Antler around 1.10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Douglas around 1.20 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Max around 1.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by these severe thunderstorms include White Earth, White Earth Bay Recreation Area, Deep Water Creek Recreation Area, Larson, Niobe, White Shield, Tagus, Cuthole, Falkirk, and McGregor. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southeastern Dunn County in southwestern North Dakota, northwestern Morton County in south central North Dakota, northeastern Star County in southwestern North Dakota, Oliver County in south central North Dakota, Mercer County in south central North Dakota, until 1.15 a.m. Central Daylight Time or 12.15 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 12.36 a.m. Central Daylight Time, or 11.36 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 6 miles southeast of Marshall to 10 miles south of Golden Valley to 14 miles northeast of Hebron to near New Salem, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Severe thunderstorms will be near, New Salem around 12.40 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Zap, Golden Valley and Dodge around 12.55 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations in the path of these severe thunderstorms include Beulah, Hanover, Hazen, Center, Beulah Bay Recreation Area and Hazen Bay Recreation Area. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Large hail and damaging winds and continuous cloud to ground lightning is occurring with these storms. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Torrential rainfall is occurring with these storms and may lead to flash flooding. Do not drive your vehicle through flooded roadways. a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 12.01 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from Walker to Bear Creek, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour wind gusts and any size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Severe thunderstorms will be near Walker around 12.05 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Eagle Butte and South Eagle Butte around 12.20 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. Other locations in the path of these severe thunderstorms include McLaughlin and Parade. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will send your report to the National Weather Service Office in Aberdeen. 
worth repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 12.45 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time for the following counties in South Dakota, Corson and Dewey. Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Sioux County in South Central North Dakota, Eastern Morton County in South Central North Dakota, Eastern Grant County in South Central North Dakota, Western Emmons County in South Central North Dakota, until 1.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time or 12.45 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 1.11 a.m. Central Daylight Time, or 12.11 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 8 miles south of Fish Creek down to 4 miles west of Walker, moving east at 30 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 miles per hour wind gusts and penny-sized hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include St. Anthony. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Large hail and damaging winds and continuous cloud to ground lightning is occurring with these storms. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Weather Service in Aberdeen has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northern Jones County in Central South Dakota, Stanley County in Central South Dakota, Southern Dewey County in North Central South Dakota, until 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time, or 1 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 1.14 a.m. Central Daylight Time, or 12.14 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near South Eagle Bee to near Nolan, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 miles per hour wind gusts and penny size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expect considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Draper. This is a dangerous situation. These storms are producing widespread wind damage near Phillip. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will send your report to the National Weather Service Office in Aberdeen. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 1 and Mountain Daylight Time for the following county, Dewey, South Dakota. Service in Aberdeen has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northern Jones County in Central South Dakota, Stanley County in Central South Dakota, Southern Dewey County in North Central South Dakota, until 2 a.m. Central Daylight Time, or 1 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time. At 1.14 a.m. Central Daylight Time, or 12.14 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from near South Eagle Butte to near Nolan, moving east at 50 miles per hour. Hazard. 70 miles per hour wind gusts and penny size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects considerable tree damage. Damage is likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Locations impacted include Draper. This is a dangerous situation. These storms are producing widespread wind damage near Phillip. Seek shelter now inside a sturdy structure and stay away from windows. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will send your report to the National Weather Service Office in Aberdeen. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 2 m Central Daylight Time for the following counties in South Dakota, Jones and Stanley.
Weather Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Warren County in north central North Dakota, Bottineau County in north central North Dakota, Renville County in north central North Dakota, Sheridan County in south central North Dakota, McLean County in south central North Dakota, McHenry County in north central North Dakota, Western Roulette County in north central North Dakota, until 2.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 1.26 a.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 4 miles north of Sherwood to near Douglas to near Wilton, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Severe thunderstorms will be near Wilton around 1.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Max and Antler around 1.40 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Benedict around 1.50 a.m. Central Daylight Time. West Hope around 1.55 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Butte and Surus around 2.10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Animus and Lake Metagoshi State Park around 2.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by these severe thunderstorms include Kruger Lake, Bantry, Niobe, George Lake, Kramer, Balfour, Hoffer Lake, Tagus, Falkirk, and Russo. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. a severe thunderstorm warning for Ward County in north central North Dakota, Bottineau County in north central North Dakota, Renville County in north central North Dakota, Sheridan County in south central North Dakota, McLean County in south central North Dakota, McHenry County in north central North Dakota, Western Roulette County in north central North Dakota, until 2.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 1.26 a.m. Central Daylight Time, Severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 4 miles north of Sherwood to near Douglas to near Wilton, moving east at 55 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 70 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. Severe thunderstorms will be near Wilton around 1.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Max and Antler around 1.40 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Benedict around 1.50 a.m. Central Daylight Time. West Hope around 1.55 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Butte and Surus around 2.10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Animus and Lake Metagoshi State Park around 2.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations impacted by these severe thunderstorms include Kruger Lake, Bantry, Niobe, George Lake, Kramer, Balfour, Hoffer Lake, Tagus, Falkirk, and Russo. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for southwestern Kidder County in south central North Dakota, southeastern Burley County in south central North Dakota, northern Emmons County in south central North Dakota, until 2.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 1.59 a.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located 7 miles northwest of Hazleton, or 22 miles north of Linton, moving northeast at 20 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Braddock. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building.
The National Weather Service has issued severe thunderstorm watch number 256, effective until 7 a.m. This watch includes the following counties in South Dakota, Lake, McCook, and Turner. Remember, a severe thunderstorm watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather, including large hail and damaging winds in and close to the watch area. While severe weather may not be imminent, persons should remain alert for rapidly changing weather conditions and listen for later statements and possible warnings. Stay tuned to NOAA Weather Radio, commercial radio and television outlets, or Internet sources for the latest severe weather information. to find a solution. The National Weather Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for East Central Warden County in North Central North Dakota, Bottineau County in North Central North Dakota, Southeastern Renville County in North Central North Dakota, Pierce County in North Central North Dakota, McHenry County in North Central North Dakota, Roulette County in North Central North Dakota, until 3.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 2.26 a.m. Central Daylight Time, severe thunderstorms were located along a line extending from 14 miles north of West Hope to 5 miles south of Max Pass to 6 miles northwest of Granville to 5 miles north of Butte, moving east at 60 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Severe thunderstorms will be near Drake and Danby around 2.40 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations in the path of these severe thunderstorms include Towner, Animoose, Bottineau, Barton, Rugby, Dunseith, Wilford, and Belcourt. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Large hail and damaging winds and continuous cloud-to-ground lightning is occurring with these storms. Move indoors immediately. Lightning is one of nature's leading killers. Remember, if you can hear thunder, you are close enough to be struck by lightning. Service in Bismarck has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Kidder County in South Central North Dakota, Northwestern Logan County in Southeastern North Dakota, Northeastern Emmons County in South Central North Dakota, Stutzman County in Southeastern North Dakota, until 3.30 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 2.33 a.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located over Dawson, or six miles east of Steele, moving northeast at 45 miles per hour. Expected hazards include 60 miles per hour wind gusts and nickel-size hail. This is a radar-indicated threat. The following impacts are expected. Expect damage to roofs, siding, and trees. This severe thunderstorm will be near. Happen around 2.40 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Other locations in the path of a severe thunderstorm include Woodworth and Pingree. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. National Weather Service in Aberdeen has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Northeastern Summit County in Central South Dakota, Northwestern Fox County in North Central South Dakota, Eastern Potter County in North Central South Dakota, until 3.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 2.54 a.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Cottonwood Lake near Adar, or 12 miles southeast of Gettysburg, moving north at 45 miles per hour. Hazard, 60 miles per hour in gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect wind damage to roofs, siding, and trees. 
locations and passive include Lebanon, Hoven, and Tolstoy. For your protection, move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will send your report to the National Weather Service Office in Aberdeen. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 3.45 a.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in South Dakota, Fox, Potter, and Philly. National Weather Service in Aberdeen has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Edmonds County in North Central South Dakota, Western Falk County in North Central South Dakota, Eastern Campbell County in North Central South Dakota, Potter County in North Central South Dakota, McPherson County in North Central South Dakota, Eastern Walworth County in North Central South Dakota, until 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time. At 3.16 a.m. Central Daylight Time, a severe thunderstorm was located near Roscoe, or 17 miles west of Ipswich, moving northeast at 15 miles per hour. Hazard, 70 miles per hour wind gusts and quarter-size hail. Source, radar indicated. Impact, hail damage to vehicles is expected. Expect considerable tree damage. Wind damage is also likely to mobile homes, roofs, and outbuildings. This severe thunderstorm will remain over mainly rural areas of Edmonds, Western Falk, Eastern Campbell, Potter, McPherson, and Eastern Walworth counties. Prepare immediately for large hail and damaging winds. People outside should move immediately to shelter inside a strong building. Stay away from windows. To report severe weather, contact your nearest law enforcement agency. They will send your report to the National Weather Service Office in Aberdeen. Repeating, a severe thunderstorm warning has been issued until 4 a.m. Central Daylight Time for the following counties in South Dakota, Campbell, Edmonds, Falk, McPherson, Potter, and Waller.